right. Back now. We had uh, some internet issues and we're live again. See what all is new. Hey, hello Amdor, welcome in. Is your day going? So yeah, we've actually got a rainy day on our islands. One of my one of my favorite types of days. Uh-oh. Oh no. I hope that gets better. I need a little bump on mic versus game. Uh, let me move my mic closer and see if that's any better. Oh, nice. I dug up a truffle. Well, let's see. So one of the first things I want to do is I want to see if that fourth level glitch still works. I'm actually really curious if they fix that or not. Oh, I can't bring up my phone yet. Can I? Hmm. Let me try something here real quick. So now I got my Joy Cons here. I need to see something here real quick because I don't know if my controller is working or not. Nope. All right. Well, I've got my Joy Cons at least. All right, let's see here. There we go. This first, uh, yeah, this kind of one of the first things I want to see is if they fix this or not. And actually, we could go see, they may have added um, proper fourth. Oh, I'm on them. I, that's right. This can, these Joy Con are going bad. How about that? I don't think I have a working pair of Joy Con.
Alright, let's go right here. <coughs> Oops. I'm hoping they didn't patch this. Hey, ha, ha. All right, good, 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 good. They did not fix the fourth level glitch. Good. We can still get up there, but the thing that we can do is we can go actually test and see if it still works. It, they may have let us uh, go up to the fourth level. I'm actually curious to see that. Yeah, some glitches are harmless and should stay in, definitely. All right, let's take our ladder here, and we're going to close our construction. Done with that for now. Oops. We went over to our campsite. News. I bought spray can yesterday. Sprayed a bit today. It's clogged. Oh no! Do you have anything to unclog it? Any kind of solvent or needle or anything like that? Oh no! Oh no! Wiped it clean. Oh no. Well, at least it didn't clear off all my trees that are planted on the ledge, but oh, that was ruthless. Um. Oh man. Well, I guess we got to redecorate up there, but that's going to be, that's going to be a ton of work because, um, basically I have to re-terraform all this stuff to try and get trees and everything back up there again. Oh man. Actually, I hate to say it, but I probably won't do that right now. Uh, let me go ahead and refund you those points. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm just not feeling it at the moment. I gotta... I gotta think about what we're gonna do. I just am curious to see if we're even going to be able to do this at all. Alright, so first things first, they erased all my trees. She, she has a happy little accent that gets you a chance to improve on design. Yes! Yes, this is true. But first, let's go ahead and fill this in. We're going to fill this in real quick. And like I said, there's a lot of new content for us to go look at. But... I'm really curious to see if they'll let us back up here anymore.
I hope so. I really hope so. Bunch of the vet on error job today. Fun stuff. Yeah, that stuff is really cool. It's so lightweight. Um, it's been a long time since I've watched anything about it. Let's see, will it still let us get up here? Did they fix it? I wouldn't think so. Now we're up here. Well, let me plant a tree up here still. No, they fixed it. Oh, no. Wow. No more, no more fourth level stuff. You can't open your inventory when you're up here. No, you can't dig. You can't do anything. Only thing I can do is get my tools, so only thing I can do is literally get my ladder. Oh, that's so sad. I wonder what it what what did it break? What 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 Oh. No more fourth level glitch. Dang it. Well Yeah, I can't open my inventory. I can't do anything. One thing we can do is No, I can't I couldn't open up any of my tools or anything. Uh let me try again. I didn't don't think I tried that. And just to make sure that it's not my controller or anything. Nope, yeah, see I can dig. Um, I can open my inventory. Yeah, so it's not it's not that there's like any fault of the controller. They actually fixed it. Well dag nabbit. Yeah, I know, right? Boo. I love that glitch. I love that glitch so much. So we can get up here. Yeah, so I can't swing. Um, oh, wait a minute. I can do that. Yeah, you're right. I can do that. Nope, but see, I can't press the A button. I can't place it. Just if we said they let it stay right. Yeah, they let me get up here, but they won't let me do anything up here. So I guess they can't. I guess they figured. I guess they figured that, hey, but we can't stop them from getting up there. We're going to stop them from doing anything up there. Well, that's just rude. Wait, what tool is that supposed to be? I don't know. Oh, my ladder. Hey! Hyper Robo! I'm sorry about that. I was having... I had some internet troubles, and... Uh, Took me a little bit to get get it uh, back up and running again. You said you said you were looking forward to. I meant to ask you. I saw you said it in the chat. You said you were looking forward to SMT five. What is SMT five? Yeah, so far the only thing we found out with the update is that. Um... Shin Megami Tensei. Oh heck, I've never played that. In fact, I'm embarrassed to say it, but I've never heard of it. Oh, it's kind of like Persona. Okay, I got you. Yeah, so far the only thing we've found out is that they broke my fourth level glitch and they made it to where nothing can be up on this top level anymore. Which makes me the very big sad because I had lots of stuff up there. And I was having lots of fun with the fourth level glitch decorating and it is alas no more. But we got to rethink how we're doing this whole area around where our museum is. 
outside of that, so far, so far I haven't seen anything else. That was actually the first thing I wanted to test, was to see if they fixed that. The next thing to test is going to be to see if they fixed the tree glitch or not. If they did that, I'm going to have some words. Oh, I just got to put this back the way it was here real quick, and then we can carry on and keep checking out the rest of the update. Alright, so it was right here. Turn around and plant that tree. This is a series I've never really played. Try the GameCube one, that's it. Oh, nice, yeah. I tried a little bit of the GameCube one as well. This one's quite a bit different, especially with the decorations and stuff. So if you like stuff like Stardew or Minecraft, this might be kind of something you're, look you're looking for. Um, and that said, let's go try. And see if Do I have a tree in my pocket. I don't. Let's see if they fix the tree glitch or not. I'm be working out of town, so I'll probably pick it up to keep me occupied in the evenings. Nice. I definitely recommend that. It's super good to play on the go. You, you don't have to play a lot. That's the thing. You can play for like an hour a day, and that should be enough. You know, check in on your villagers, talk to everybody. have a lot of fun. Oh, my trees are growing up. Back to Aerogel. I really dig the cream they did with it. it. Allows you to go underwater without getting wet. Nice. I'm sure it'd be nice for people allergic to chloride allowing them to use swimming pools. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That's right. There's the radio now. We can do the exercises in the mornings. Hello, Sherb. That's why I like Breath of the Wild. I feel like I can pick it up, play for an hour or so, and put it down. Yeah. I love that about Breath of the Wild, too. It's, it's good in long sessions, and it's also good in small doses. Okay. Real hard today. Play hard, snack hard, yell Baja real hard. Hello, Dom. Um, I need something that I can eat real quick. We need, we're going to eat a mushroom. And I need a tree. We'll use this bamboo tree. The Shin Megami Tensei series is a hardcore JRPG, so it's minimum 50 hours to best. Dang! What to beat? Dang! Sounds like a chunky game, for sure. All right, let's try this right here. Rest of all, it took me two years, yes. And Jestic, welcome in, welcome in. How's it going? Hello. Welcome in. How is your day? Have you been playing the update? So far, today, I'm just doing, I'm doing a couple tests. I'm, I'm testing out these two glitches that I always use. And so far, the fourth level glitch has been fixed, fortunately. In a more or less permanent way. So far, my hunt for Marlo, I have seen Roswell twice, Shino once, Anna once, and Sasha once. Oh, heck! Oh, that's half of them, right? That's half of the new builders, isn't it? All right, let's try this. Let's try planting a tree here. Did they fix it? No, thank goodness. They did not fix that. All right, good. Good, we're good. Uh-oh, how do I get this tree down? Oh, I still have some mushrooms. Okay, that mushroom.
No, I think there's like, eight, oh, 18 villagers. Dang, okay. I thought they only added six. That's my bad. Exciting. I have a bell curve right there somewhere. Alright, so. One glitch is fixed and one glitch still works, so we're good there. Just about on my 60th ticket. Dang, not bad, not bad. Right, let's see here. A fossil? It is a fossil. All right, let's head back to our home. So thankfully I didn't do the fourth level glitch too much. I didn't rely on it too heavily, except for where the museum is, which means I'll need to rethink probably much, pretty much my entire museum. Did it sound like a cool? Yeah, ha ha. You found me. All right, let's see. The cool thing is now with the update, um, I can start working on decorating my house. Besides kicking out Avery to find Marlo, I'm not gonna time travel for any of the new stuff. Nice. I'll probably time travel a little bit. We'll see. It depends on like how much it takes to unlock like new items. Like I know there's new storage upgrades, there's new storage shed, stuff like that. Stuff like that that I'm excited for. Right, let's see here. So that room is empty. So I'm gonna just go ahead and clean up everything. And we're gonna head down to Nook Shop, see if there's anything new there. I know we've got some stuff going on. So let's go ahead and decorate. As I have plenty to do when the DLC drops. Yes, exactly. Oop, I've dropped my radio. All right, so we're gonna go to our pockets. Let's see, what do we have? Our wallpaper. I'm gonna try and make it the default wallpaper again. And then we're gonna go down and, that's right. Oh, never mind. Um, let me see here real quick. Manjestic, were you looking for this flooring? Were you still looking for this flooring? I think I found it. The pyramid tile, are you still looking for that one? I always forget. I can't remember if it was you or Sway that was looking for the pyramid tile. So I have time traveled to hunt for Marla today so I can deal with him without worrying about sp splitting time from the DLC. Yeah, totally. That makes sense. All right, so we got that for him. All right, so this room's back the way it was. I did, I did need it at one point, but I'm good now. My Anka shrine is done. Awesome, okay. All right, no worries. Aw, Vesta! Aw. Just thought I'd stop by for a quick visit, Bafu. Aw, hey! And yeah, no worries. Of course, of course, Manjestic. Aw, hey. I'm not intruding. Just wondering what you were up to, and then I found myself here. Aw. I love that they can finally visit our houses. I brought a little gift along to thank you for having me. 
I'd like to snack on a peach, yes. I would love that. What do you think about playing a game with me, Sebastian? Sure, let's play. Play high card, low card. I'm pretty good at explaining the rules of this game. Would you like to hear them? Uh, sure. I've never played this. So this is how we play. I have nine cards here that are numbered from one through nine. I'll draw one. I love watching them shuffle. I'll draw one of these cards to start the game. Okay, I drew the eight. I need to guess if the card I draw next will be higher or lower than eight. That's right, I'll reward you with my ventilation fan. Are you saying I need some fresh air in here? Time to draw the next card. Higher or lower? I think it's a lower. There's only one chance that it's a nine. It's a one. Awesome. Yes, right. Expect no less from you. All right, time to receive your prize. A ventilation fan. Oh, don't you just love that game? Thanks for playing. Aw. So I can find. Thanks, Vesta. Hit that. So heck and sweet. Oh, I love so much that they can they can visit um, our houses now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put all of this stuff into storage. I'm positive the first time you play hard card, low card, it's always a one. I've seen it played about nine times. It's always been a one. Really? That would make sense. They really want you to win, and like you know, they gave they she gave me an eight. Which means that, you know, the odds of it being anything less, any, you know, the odds of it being a nine is almost impossible. She drew a two and I picked higher and it was a one. Oh, heck. Okay, goodness. Okay. I see. Those, the first card's random, but the second one's most likely. Oh, she's just sitting there reading. How cute. A little jealous of how easy this room must be to vacuum. That said, this room is the easiest room to vacuum. It doesn't get any easier than this. Aha, this is the other room. Okay. Oh, oh, we can't redecorate when someone's in our house. Okay. I suppose that makes sense. I guess we should probably wrap up, huh? I had a lot of fun today. Aw. Can I stick around? Seriously, I'd love to. I'll stay a bit longer. Aw. Okay. Actually, can I give you a gift? Yes, there is lots of potential here. I wish I could give her a gift for stopping over. But I don't think so. So let's go ahead and head outside. This was fun, but I should probably leave you alone now. It's great of you to have me over. Aw. Oh, I see. So if you try to leave, then she'll automatically leave. Okay, so now we can tidy up this room. Put this room back to the way that it was. There we go. Oh wait, that's not the right wallpaper. Hang on. Did I sell the, that wallpaper? You Hazel, Hazel get me off this island. Get me out of here. Oh, weird. I must have sold the original wallpaper that went in this room. Oh, well. All right, so let's see what's new. Let's go to the resident services. I know there's lots of updates there as well. Oh, it looks like the rain's going to break soon, so that'd be nice. There's our shops. We can see who the NPC is on day. Nobody here. 
Oh, we've got mail. We have mail to open. Nook Incorporated. Strange, nothing from Nintendo. Nintendo almost always sends a letter to go with an update. Although, there is some mail there, actually, from Nook Incorporated. Okay. Happy to announce that all fees for relocating or changing the stereo of your home have been reduced. Visit the construction consultant, which, granted, um, moving is free. I mean, not moving. Redecorating, for me, is free. That shit is for customers who have expanded their home storage. You can now redeem miles for storage shed DIY recipe. Yes! You can now redeem miles for an ABD. Nice, okay. So lots of, lots of cool things there. I'm obsessed with the new haircut Harriet gave me. Nice! I need to go do that as well. Well, I'm guessing we're going to have to talk to Harv and finally let him go home. I don't think I'm going to be able to fly to Harv's without actually letting Harv go there. What's up, gentlemen? Anything new? Anything fun? I saw earlier that apparently there's at least a thousand new items. Um, I heard some reports that there could be potentially up to... What about that? Apparently there could be, there could be up to like 9,000 items, but we're not sure. But there's at least a thousand, which is exciting. I can only imagine what it's going to be like trying to run a, a, a mystery island, or I mean, a treasure island with all these all these new items to collect. Hello, Harv. I'll talk to you in just a bit if I need to. Yeah, I'm excited to go to Harriet, because I know there, there's a bunch of new haircuts. I'm excited about that. Mr. Nook. Miss Isabel. Say, since you didn't notice about this through the mail already, but you expand your home storage even further now. Exciting. Hmm? Just like last time, you'll need to pay the construction fees up front. With a few additional upgrades, we can boost your maximum storage by a considerable amount. If you want to expand your home storage even further? Come find me so we can talk about your home. Oh, my sister messaged me last night. She got the... Oh, nice! She got the family plan online expansion. Awesome! So you'll have... You'll be online again and have access to DLC. Congratulations! Well, so yeah, if you need anything, just let me know. Any help with anything? If you'd like me to tour your island, just let me know. That's awesome. I'm glad you have uh, Nintendo Online again. Alright, let's see what's... Let's see what else new. Wow, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. I think we might have the Nook Miles for this. A donation box. What's a donation box? What did that go for? I'm very curious. I did not... Yes, I would like to make another suggestion. Uh, details? Ah. Well, okay. Alright, a wooden construction set. Yes. Does that mean there's going to be other sword sheds that aren't wooden? Oh, we can update the exterior of our houses now. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to talk to Tom Nook. So many cool things here. Um, fire hydrant, I think that's old. Round street light, look at this. Look how cool that looks. Steel fence, that looks cool. Look at that, that looks sharp. I like that. Yo, trash can. Ooh, I like that. It's a classic street lamp. Topiary. Oh, this is going to look so good. It's expensive, but it's going to look so good. Stop lights? The curved street light. I like that. I'm not a big fan of that color, though. Um, although I know it comes in the other colors, so I'll see if I can find the other colors. I might actually use that in different places. Flower beds? 
exciting. A plastic bench that looks good. Anything else here that's new? Ooh, plain party lights arch. Wow, okay. That will look snazzy. I know where I'm gonna put I know where I'll probably put that. Whoa, freaking fancy plaza bench. Or topiary. Street lamp with banners? What? Look at that. Give me a second. I need to take a snap a picture of this real quick. Plaza arch, plaza clock, a volleyball net. That's gonna go great on the beach. Windmill, ooh, an old fashioned windmill. I know where I can put that. A park fountain, that looks super cool. Whoa, that's beautiful. I'm gonna need a lot more Nook Miles. Look at that. It's expensive, but look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, it's perfect. Lots of game stand. Lots of plaza things. Ferris wheel? Oh, merry-go-round? Oh, a big storage shed. Nice. The ABD, ABD is 9,900. Wow, that's expensive. Okay, we've got lots of cool stuff just from this alone that I'm excited about. It's gonna look great in different places. Definitely gonna help my theme. Um, I'm super excited, let's go. All right. But first, let's go ahead and redeem some of this stuff. This will take us a little minute. Okay, I'm back. I had to step away for a sec after I sent my last message. Oh, no worries. Showing out job interviews. Oh, that's right. Um, didn't you have one coming up or did you already have it? How did it go? Okay. I had one yesterday and I have one today. Oh, heck. How do you feel about them? Um, yeah, I wish you knew the best of luck. Yesterday's went well, but today's went really, really well. Nice. And they are more of my first choice anyway. Awesome. I hope, yeah. Definitely sending you my best wishes and positive energy, yeah. I hope you get that. Congratulations. Now I have a pro camera. So now it's in HR's hands. Awesome, yeah. I definitely hope that they that they go for you. I would yeah, that would be awesome. That'd be amazing. Definitely have to let us know how it goes. All right, the protect grading license. I'm excited to see what this is going to be. Yes. Redeem. I'm glad I've been saving up my Nook miles. I don't have a lot considering like all the cool things that are in there. But I think I have enough to get all these new important updates. I'll keep it posted. All right, thank you. Yeah, for sure. I can now use accent walls and ceiling items to realize my vision. Nice.
Okay, what's next? All right, custom design patterns plus. Wait, what? At about 60,000, it takes about half to get all the new apps DIYs. Okay, so that's not too bad. So I should have plenty because I had about 50,000, I think, or about 55,000. So custom designs plus. I wonder what they added to that. Okay. Now I can use patterns with custom designs app. I can totally change them. Oh, that's right. I can use the Able Sisters patterns. Awesome. I do think it's cool that even though a lot of the stuff is added, they still kind of make you work for it in game. Now, granted, like, you know, I've got plenty of Nook Miles for this, but like, you don't immediately just get it. You know, you still got to work for it a little bit. It's a, you know, it's it's a free, it's a free update for the game, but in game, nothing's for free. That's just the absent DIYs. That doesn't include all the new miles. Yeah, I was going through all the furniture and there's some really cool looking furniture, but it's expensive. I learned four new hairstyles. Customized fencing and a flash. my fencing. This is something I'm super excited about. The ability to customize fencing is something that I, I, I'm so glad it's here now. That's something that would have been nice from the very beginning. New reactions. What all the reactions did we learn? Double wave. Awesome. Stretch. Wow, that's a lot of new reactions. The hula. Act natural. Huh. Oh, I love that. It's the, the moves that you make when you're changing your clothes. Work it. Flex. Like that. Whoa, that's cool. We can use that a lot. I love to say cheese work and behold. Yes, behold is amazing. I'm gonna be using that. Hey cheese. Oh, I love that. That's cute. Listening ears. Jamming. Oh yeah, it's the bop that the villagers do. Well, that's heckin' cute. All right, let's see. What else is new here? Do different poses if you wait during flex. Oh, really? Okay, I'll try it again here in a second. I think that's about it. Just this one, which we don't really need this one particularly, but might as well go ahead and redeem it. We'll have the app on our phone. So that does leave us enough that we can get an ABD machine and we can still get um, a couple of the other, other items as well. Yeah, I was so surprised that the update came out last night. I was actually going to play Breath of the Wild today. But, uh, yeah. All right, so flex. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, I dig that. I can dig that. That's cool. So dang serious. Hello there, General Kenobi. Uh, welcome back, Amdor. Welcome back. I like it because it's cheap. It makes the first long loading screen feel less empty. Nice. Yes. Oh, you didn't leave. This is true. Oh, 
All right, let's see. Oh, okay. All right, so that's good. That's good. All right, we, we can we can work with this. They took all of my items from the fourth level. Oh, I see. They actually put it in the loading screen. Cool, okay. All right, so thankfully, thankfully, they gave me all my items back from that fourth level glitch. Um, I thought they just yeeted it and deleted it all, but that was actually really cool. They, they factored in that people were doing that and didn't let people just throw everything away. All right, we get to do a couple more things here real quick. We're gonna redeem Nook Miles. There's some expensive things I wanna redeem. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna redeem our and we're gonna redeem one of these. And then we're gonna redeem the ABD. And we're gonna redeem a storage shed. And... We're gonna redeem this gazebo. I think that'll give us a room for one more redemption. Let's see. Oh yes, this pergola. Let's go ahead and redeem that. And there's almost all my Nook Miles. All right, no, we're good. Okay. About to head out to Island 70. We're closing in on my longest taunt of my current villagers, Eugene, who took 86. Dang. That's a lot. All right, let's see. Oh, we can go ahead and learn. Donation box. And the wooden storage shed. Awesome. This is the construction consult consultation counter. How can I help you? All right, so about my home. I'd like to customize. Now offering full house designs as a customization option. Yes, yes. More than roofs or siding, a new house design can drastically change the entire shape of your home. I find that quite exciting. Give it a thought. Hmm? No. We can customize the outside of your home for free. Place your order now. Be ready by tomorrow morning. So are you interested? Aha, yes. Oh, no. I looked up. He took 75 last time. I found Eugene, I think, was 86. Nice. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's actually not too bad at all. Dude, look at these houses. <gasps> yes, I love that. Let's go. This one or this one? Let's see. I, this one's kind of plain. Looks like one of the villager houses, which is actually really cool. Do that one. That one. This is the one we've always had. This one I think is really cool. I dig this one. Oh, and you can completely change the roof styles. I think my longest hunt ever was 130. I think so too. I forget how long my longest one. My longest one was around there somewhere. It was like 130-ish, I think. Or 120-ish? I'm not sure. Right, so I dig the thatch roof a lot. I still prefer the regular myself because I like the... I like the chic, the cobblestone. Yes. I do really like it. This is cool. But for like a country Japanese looking style house, at least on the outside. I'm pretty happy with these options. What other doors do we have? Do we have new doors? Ooh. Do have new doors. That looks good. 
That looks good as well. Imperial door. Ooh, that fits nicely. If I did change, I'd go and mine, I'd make mine match Ankus. Nice, yes. That would look really good. I'm hoping, hoping that with the DLC, we'll be able to change our villagers, the, the, the exterior of our villagers' houses. I'm not counting on it. But I am hoping. I am somewhat hoping. Like that. Yeah, I like the darker wood. And... I like the green thatch. The green or dark brown? I like the dark brown. Looks good. Any new mailbox options? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's give this a try and see what we like what we what we what we think. Can I upgrade my house? Don't believe so. Okay. Which I do. So he can't help me there. A party chain. Yeah, since they're both in Egypt. Yeah. That would look good if they matched together like that. Alright, I think I'm good for now. I think that covers that. Let's talk to Isabel. We can now enact ordinances, special rules that change things about the island. I am in charge of ordinances. So we can discuss ordinances. We talk about ordinances, but we sure. The moment we don't have any ordinances in effect, acting an ordinance means lots of paperwork. We need 20,000 bells as a collaboration and filing fee. Dang. Yeah, sure. Let's see what you have. What is bell boom? This would cause the cost of goods and on to go up, but so would the amount of folks get it from selling. Hmm. How about the night owl? This would boost nightlife by asking folks to stay up later. We'd also have island businesses extend their hours. Anything else? Beautiful island. This one we'd ask folks to pitch in with weeding, watering flowers, and clearing trash from our waters. Sure, you know what? Let's do it. Let's give it a try. So I'm wondering if we can only have one ordinance at a time? Or how that's gonna work. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna go out here. We're gonna drop something down so that way we can we can pick something else up. This doesn't mean weeds won't grow, I have found out, but it does mean that villagers will pick weeds. Yes, only one at a time, dang, okay. So people can stay awake late or People can either, either people can stay awake late or we can have to continue to look an island. Got it. Kind of weird. But it makes sense. Oh wait, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, so there we go. Now we got all of our stuff out of here. So now we have the pro decorating license. I'm wondering, are we able to do partitions yet?
No, that's part of the DLC. Oh, boo, okay. So I still can't decorate my house yet until the DLC comes out. Partitions and counters are part of the DLC. Okay, that makes sense though. That does make sense. I wonder if we'll be able to use those in our houses right away. In our houses right away. That's actually something I don't know. I'd be curious to know. Or do we have to like unlock that first? Stuck two. I need counters for at least two rooms. Yes, and I'm I'm kind of wanting to wait to do anything at all until we have that update, so that way. I don't start designing around current limitations that will be lifted. Pro decorating license. Time to learn about accent walls and hanging items from the ceiling. You can hang a different type of wallpaper on one of the walls in a room to create an accent wall. Now, my question is, can we have a different wallpaper on each of the walls? I have to earn the right to use them on and off the DLC. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so we're gonna go ahead into design mode. We're gonna test something out here. Oh, nice, we have a whole grid up here, okay. I'm a little disappointed that the accent wall is only, oh, it is only one wall, oh no, okay. Well, that's just kind of rude. That's not what I was hoping for at all. I was hoping like maybe one for each and no, you're only like, oh, dang it. Strange. Oh, there we go. Huh. I was hoping at least two walls. Yeah, me too. I was definitely hoping for at least two walls. Ah, well. Not sure why you can't do that. To be honest, but see now, now you can have a room like this where one side is the bank vault, not the entire room. Or let's see, what else do we have? Like one side is the server server wall, but that that's something I'm excited about. I think matching them up together, you could get some pretty cool um, options. Like this looks pretty cool, I think, maybe. So it's a relatively the same wallpaper, but just a different color. Just that smidge different. Okay. All right, let's put all this stuff in storage here real quick. I use it in my bedroom. All my side walls are windows, but the wall that leads to the stairs is a regular wall. Cool. Yes, and see, that's going to make more sense because that's an interior wall of your house. And so now you can have all, you know, you can have three rooms that will be all separate. Uh, three walls that will be all glass looking outwards, but then you've got that one interior wall still, which will make a lot more logical sense. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a bit disappointing for sure, but I think it's something we can definitely work with. We can't use two walls. I don't see myself using it often. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, like you said, two walls would have been nice. At least. I, I actually honestly expected to be able to use one for each wall. Like, have all four walls be something different. All right, so let's see here. Got our pockets emptied again, so let's see. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's go back in. I'm curious because we can craft some uh, new items now. I don't know what a donation box is for. I really don't know what a donation box is for, but it sounds cool. All 
All right, let's go ahead and check in on our crafting table. Let's craft. Let's see what these items take. So, one storage shed takes iron and all the wood. That takes a wood, okay. Large lattice fence. It's new, apparently. The stonework kitchen. Nice, okay, we can take that. And a new park fence. Okay, so we got a couple new fences. So we just basically need all of our crafting supplies. Let's go ahead and get them out. And where would those be? Um, we're gonna need some customization kits. Let me take out these fences because I will be using those. I'm curious if these are customizable as well. Um, Yeah, let's take out two of each stack of wood. I think that'll do. Oh, it's like a tip jar, really? But what does it go to? Does it just like go back to you? I mean, what happens to the, to the money? I don't know if I have enough stone or not, unfortunately. I don't have a lot of stone left. All right, so we're gonna craft ourselves a shed. It's a mimic tip jar, right? When you have people over from your island, Oh, they can drop money inside. Interesting. Neat. Okay. I like that. That's really cool because I know a lot of people like to give money when they stop by. And um, that will actually be pretty cool. All right, let's go back up to the top. We'll go ahead and craft ourselves a donation table. Or donation box, I should say. Don't have enough for this, unfortunately. Not enough clay and not enough stone. Which is a shame because that looks really cool. All right, let's go ahead and customize. I wonder if there's a max capacity. I don't know. Maybe just like max out whatever your bells is. Like, does it automatically go into your ABD? Or does it fill into it? Let's uh, let's find out here in a second. The wooden storage shed we can decorate. Different colors. I like this. I like the dark brown. We're going to customize it to look like that. When I come over, I can supply with clay and stone. Oh, really? Sure, I might in just a little bit. Um, I would actually really appreciate that. Do it like that. A uh, label. Oh, neat. You can have a have a label on it. Okay. You can see my new dapper look I got going. Yeah, sure, totally. Yeah, give me just a little bit, and I will definitely come over. All right, now comes the big one. Let's see what these fences can look like. Ah, uh, so we can't change the iron stone fencing, but we can change this. Actual. White, brown, black, green, blue, pink, and purple. Nice. So let's go ahead and make it white. I'm gonna get through this stack of tickets and I only got three more. Okay, no worries. Let me uh, whisper me your dodo whenever, you're, just whenever you're ready. Now, question is. I can customize the whole stack. Nice. Let's go run over to... I'm trying to think. Let's go run over to uh, Kurlos's orchard and we can put this fencing down. See what it looks like. I've been waiting for white fencing, white picket fencing for so long. Edges are fun too. Oh, okay, yes, yes, that's right. Awesome. Yeah, I'm still a little bit sad about the.
I'm still a little bit sad about the, the fourth level glitch, but, you know, it'll be alright. It'll be alright. Look at that. That's gonna look so good. It just adds that little bit more uh, finish and polish to it. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Got a white picket fence properly. I like that. Yeah, I like that much better than this. Okay, let's go. I don't know how many I have left, though. Um, I don't have enough to completely finish, finish going all the way around. Do you have a wallpaper that looks like dark brown wood? Yes, I can show you which ones I have here in just a minute. I may very well have what you're looking for. I don't have many wallpapers right now. But I can show you which ones I have cataloged as well, because I do know I cataloged all, a lot of them, so... Okay, there's that. We just gotta finish um, changing up these two and fix that. Let's head on back to the house and I'll, I will go see for you. Um, one thing though, let's go over to our resident services and drop down. I'm gonna go ahead and drop down the... Oh, wait a minute. I don't have to go back to my house. I do not. Okay, hang on. Um, let's go ahead and put this... I can't put it there. Um, let's check out where we're going to put this donation thing. We're going to put it right here for the moment. Put that up by the shops here later. So let's see what happens when we, when we mess with this. Um, I can deposit a thousand bells at a time. Huh. Interesting. Alright, but so since we do have, though... Let's go ahead and try this. Um, let's get some let's put something away nice easy easy peasy oh that ain't much no it's not much at all I thought we I thought would have given us a counter um, a thousand at a time really isn't much at all all right so we can confirm. Now we can open it. I like that. It makes it really fast to put everything away. Get something out. Alright, so here's the wallpapers that I have. Um, what type of dark wood wallpaper are you looking for? Take a look at these. This, this one right off... Well, that's a chocolate hallway wall. That's not what you're looking for. Um, it doesn't look like I have a dark wood one right off. But 
But if any of these took your fancy, let me know, and I will gladly bring one for you. That's, that's fine. We can check your catalog later, and you can mail me one if you got one. Okay, yeah, certainly. We can definitely do that. Let's see. Well, that's handy. We can just carry that with us wherever we go. That can basically just live in my pocket now. Oh, you sent me a friend request. Okay. Um, let's see. Add a friend. Friend requests. Hey, awesome. All right. Okay, whoops. There we go. Place that right there. Is open. You needed clay and stone, right? Yes. I think I need 15 of each. I appreciate that. Let me go run to my house here real quick, and not sure why I'm running to my house, actually. Oh, yes, I am. Uh, yes, I do know. Is there anything else you'd like? Anything else I can bring for you? I just need to finish. I need to customize these two fences here real quick, and then I can plop them down, and then I'll be on my way. that comes to mind right now. Anyway, I think so. Yeah, sure, no worries. Right, we can customize something here real quick. We can customize these. Make them white. I'm done for now. Now, the only thing I can say right off is that you're not going to be able to tell what color fencing you've got in your pocket. Which might get a little bit, um, a little bit annoying when you're trying to sort through all of your pocket. Like if you've got a, like a lot of different types of, a lot of different colors of picket fences in storage, you may not know very well what color they all are. One and two. Now it's complete. There we go. All right, so let's get over to resident services real quick and then I will come over to your airport. Like I said, give me just one second because I know you're probably waiting to go on more mystery tours until I uh, I visit. So I don't want to make you wait too long. Give me one second. Hey, Brian, welcome in, welcome in. Lurking for an hour or so. Oh, heck, thank you for lurking. Work is very worky. 
Your stream's going well. Yes, it's going, it's going, it's going really good, actually. I hope your work is going well. Yes, the stream is going great. We've been exploring some of the different updates and stuff like that. All right. And oh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, I appreciate you being here. All right, let's see. Yeah, lots, lots of stuff. We've barely even scratched the surface of what's new in the game so far. I haven't even checked all my phone apps yet, but let's go ahead. We're going to go run to Majestic's Island real quick. He's got some stone and some clay for me. So that way I'll be able to make a, a little stove, I guess, for preparing a meal. Which I'm excited about. Don't bring... I gotta give you something. I mean, you'd use the bells, right? I gotta do something. You're giving me all these materials. I did the billionaire turnip, so I have way too many as, as now. Even through some of ways, so I had room. Okay. Okay. I'll save them for somebody else. If you really won't need, if you really, if you really can't use them. Oh, wait, no, you see the gates open. Okay. Hey, painter, welcome in. Hello, hello. I'm doing really good. How are you? I want to fly. Version 2.0.0. .0. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. We're exploring the update, having a lot of fun. I pass on the bells to someone else who wants them. Okay, all right, no worries. Yeah, does anybody anybody in the chat want uh, a million bells? All right, there we go. I'm so used to dodo codes that I muscle memory that one up a bit. Starlight, yes, let's go. Let's go. Uh, so yeah, so today what we're doing is um, the update was released last night. And so we are exploring the update and we're seeing all, what all is new and yeah. So many cool things so far. We've just scratched the surface. We've got our house is going to be redecorated tomorrow. Allulu! Thank you for the five months subscription. Thank you. Can I get some hype in the chat? We're on a five month streak. You're almost to the next uh, subscription badge. It's hard to believe it's been five months already. My goodness. Welcome in, welcome in. Hi. I still gotta fix, I still gotta make up that hype command. Hey, hello. Let's see. Dude, I like your hair. Which one do I got? Dude, I dig that hairstyle. I kind of want that hairstyle. All right, let's see. What's up? What's up? All the hype, all the love. Yeah, thank you so much for that subscription. It beats so much. All right, let's see. Oh, I'm excited now. I need that hairstyle. All right, let's see. What's up? Got your museum all set up.
I'm running for the 2.0 treasure island. Same, me too. I know, I know a lot of them are panicking because they thought they had two days left to get everything ready. Yes, I did see your island before when you did the, the, the Nintendo subscription demo. So it was a couple weeks ago, I think. Ooh. But this was not, you hadn't started this yet. Wow, I like this. Got the foggy floor with the pattern on the floor. Yes, the dream room. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. It's mysterious. The cafe music. This is actually my favorite music. Look at this. Kitchen. Oh, I could cook something. Okay, not right now. Yes, counters are going to make this look magnifique. I think it's the word. Yes, I'm excited for the 2.0 Treasure Islands. There is some furniture in there that I am super excited for. Oh, hey. Oh, I love this wallpaper. There you go, you're right. See, this makes so much more sense now. That you've got one solid wall and you don't have... Yeah, I love this. I love this. This looks so good. Work in progress bedroom. This is going to look so sharp when you're done. I love it already. This is actually quite similar, I think, to how I'll probably end up doing my, my bedroom as well. Dark tones, antique furniture. I need a dark wood wall for that wall. Yes, that's going to look so good. I think I can craft that, actually. I might be able to craft you one. Um, I can make the herringbone wallpaper, I think. I'll check I'll check my craftable items here in a minute. Because I could always craft you one while I'm here on your island if you have the supplies for it. Hey! I love this flooring. This flooring brings back so many memories. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I don't think I've ever seen that wallpaper before. It'll be the bar lounge. Yes, like a little speakeasy basement. I love that. Give me one second here. And this carpet's going to be perfect for that. Give me one second. Let me check my DIY recipes and let me know if this is a wallpaper you want. Ah, look at this. We've got food. Making me hungry. Okay. Um, let's see, where are the wallpapers? If you check my stream. Let's see, where is it? There's the dark wood mosaic wall. It's actually a sable pen. Oh, cool. I love that. Okay. What about like one of these? Like the chocolate herringbone wall? Is that something you would be interested in? Or any of these other DIY wallpapers? Because I could make you that one if you want. Or the dark wooden mosaic wall. As well as just the modern wood wall. Nothing quite feel right. Okay, certainly. I totally got you. All right. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, that's actually really cool putting that pattern on the wall like that. I was thinking cool. All right, let's see here. Actually, let me check this here real quick. All right, so that's good. That's it for now. Okay, sure. Yeah, no worries. No worries. And you said you don't want any bells, so I won't give you any bells.
Man, I love how your house is coming along. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like when you're done. Oh, yes, my materials. Yes, that's right, that's right. Apologies if I get a little lost here. Uh, not quite certain where I should go. Oh, hey, there we go. Hey! Hey, thank you so much! I really appreciate that. And like I said, I really dig your hairstyle. That is one I think I'll be looking for. I think that's exactly what I'm looking for. Because this is the closest I've had, but this hairstyle I've got on now never quite really felt right. All right, awesome. Well, I can't wait to see what you do with your house, and I can't wait to uh, visit again sometime soon. All right, let's go ahead and head on home. Yeah, thank you so much for those materials. I really, really appreciate that. I've been... Too lazy to go go uh, mine my rocks every day, and so that will help a bunch. When she gave me this one, I was like, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I've never been satisfied with any of the other hair besides the messy hair. Yeah. Yeah, I used to always use the messy hair as well, but it didn't feel... I was trying to go for more of a clean cut look, but... I've just not, me personally, I've never been a big fan of the fades on the side. Not saying they don't look good, just that they've not been quite my style, but like what you've got going on is definitely, I can, I can dig that. I can dig that for sure. But I think that's the next thing we'll do is we'll work on seeing what it takes to go see Harriet. Goodness knows I've got plenty of bells. I also wonder if they fixed the infinite bells thing. Which, I mean, not that I'm worried about it. I've got plenty. I wonder if they fixed that. I made my whole look based off this hairstyle. Nice, yes. I dig it. It works really well. Area's part of Harvest Island. I think you just need to have at least one shot funded. That's all it took for me. Okay. Awesome. All right. So, but first things first, let's go ahead and go make ourselves that cooking stove. I want to see what it looks like. Apparently, any stove will do. But I do want to know what that stove looks like with the those materials you gave me. Under and built. Okay. So, we might have to time travel a day. I'm assuming. Muffy! Working out in front of her house. Let's talk. You can sleep till noon and nobody even notices. Yes. That's not a mood I don't know what is. I'm also excited to time travel until tomorrow and see what my house is going to look like with the new um, exterior theme. But I think we need iron was the other thing we needed. All right, let's try that. The style she gives you is a random, so it's not 100% she'll give you this one on first try. True. There is, what, 11 new hairstyles? And so I'm guessing four I've got. Okay, if you learn the style, you'll be able to use it in the mirror as normal. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let's see, what are the four new ones that we got today? Aha! It looks like, what's his name? Is it Leon from Resident Evil? It's actually not a horrible, it's actually not a horrible design. I think it cost me a thing. Oh, cool, nice. 
Got bald. This is actually not horrible. Like I said, this looks a lot like Leon from Resident Evil. I could dig that. Go for a whole Resident Evil theme. Question, right? Yes, we can finally be bald. Yes. Definitely we can finally be bald. I I it's like I saw that it was I saw that that was in the update. Oh look at that. It's scoop between furniture now. I forgot about that. Oh I forgot. Look at that. Look at us go. We can shimmy. Never use it, but I love it. Yes, that's the same thing. I was actually really surprised. So I saw the update and I was like, wait a minute. So bald's an option now. It wasn't before? I feel like that I feel like that should have always been an option. Okay, well that's awesome. We now Um can shimmy in front of furniture. Cool, okay. So Let's go ahead and yes, all the supplies. Thank you again, Manjestic, so much for giving me the supplies. I really appreciate it. All right, and I'm curious to see what we can customize it to look like. I don't have any, I don't have any kits on me, but let's see what it looks like. Ooh, so we've got gray, beige, love that. White, ooh, very elegant. Black, ooh, that looks sharp. Mossy, I love that. I love that a bunch. That's gonna go outside. That is going to go outside. We need some customization kits. Let's go. My customization kits. I should have a couple left. Yes. All the villagers are kind of unsettling, not gonna lie. Yes, I could totally I could totally see that. I'm gonna think I have like 300 clay and way too much stone. Yeah, yeah, no, that's a bunch. But yeah, thank you. I really appreciate that. All right, one mossy stonework kitchen. Let's go. Yeah, I, I, but I know of a couple people. At least I know a couple of streamers. I think that are really gonna appreciate that. You know, the option not, to not have hair, and I think it's gonna be really cool. Because before, the best thing that you could do would be to try and like put a hat on, trying to like, cover it, um, cover the hair that, cause you're stuck with hair. So, all right, let's run outside here real quick and we're gonna drop this off and we're gonna see what it looks like to craft food. Don't know if there's any gonna be any real good place to put this over here. But for the moment, we're gonna stick this right here. Let's cook. Nice, so we can make an apple smoothie. Grilled sea bass with herbs. Pancakes. A pumpkin bagel sandwich. That sounds amazing. Tomato curry. Carrot potage, flour, and sugar. Well, how about that? That is super cool. So I just see the other Harriet hairstyles, though, even though the one I have now would probably be my permanent one. Yeah, me too. I'm excited to see what they're all, what, what they're all gonna look like. Okay. I'm also curious to see what the camera's gonna look like. We'll go to the next cranny and buy starter recipes and so, oh, okay, definitely. Okay. And held camera. Dude, look at this. We can look at our game in first person mode. Whoa. This is kind of freaky. 
Hello there. Alright, that's that's a little that's a little unsettling. Alright, but yeah, this way we get to explore our island in first person. Slowly. Very slowly. Oh, we can tilt. Oh, they don't tell you, but if you want villagers to wave at you again in first person, whistle at them with R. Okay. Awesome. All right, we will try that. All right, but this is going to take us a minute, so... Oop, I was even going the wrong way anyway, so... That's going to be super cool. We'll get some nice pictures of everybody. Uh, looks cranny. There we go. Oh, gotta go. Thanks for streaming. Oh, no worries. Thank you for hanging out, Amdor. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Hey, and thank you for the posture check and stretch. Got a stretch. All right. Thank you for that. All right, let's go buy these new DIYs. I'm wondering how many new DIYs there are. Ladder setup kit. Nice. I will buy that in a heartbeat. The basic cooking recipes. There you go. I will buy that. Oh, hey. Oh, he's going to send it to my phone. Okay, cool. Anything else? Nope. Wait. Do I already know these? Okay, yeah, we don't need this. Okay. All right, let's go check our DIYs again. Let's see, what's new? Oh, organic bread. Tomato puree. Brown sugar cupcakes. Brown sugar. Whole wheat flour. Noki de patate. I hope I said that right. Seaweed soup and carrot cake. Damn, look at all this stuff. That's amazing. All right, so let me see here one thing real quick. Yeah, it's making me hungry. Yeah, it's making me super hungry. Oh, I just found one of the new fences, the frozen fence. Nice! All right, we got some nook miles for doing something here. Writing a cookbook. Oh, they even added more achievements. Oh, cool. Got some new achievements in here as well. Awesome. All right. Right, so let's see. So I'm going to go run to the airport and see if they will let me. Let's let's see if they'll if they'll let me do the go to Harv's Island without Harv being there. Wait. Oh, okay. You can almost get to the final reactions achievement with all the look redeem, right? Yeah. At this point, there's there's someone you can just buy all the reactions and get that. 
that look my one. Okay, so all right. Wait, no, I do want to fly. I though I'd like to I think I'd to talk to Harv. Because if we say via local play, what's he gonna say? Oh, that's right. I gotta go talk to Blathers as well. So many things we gotta do. Oh wait, that's not actually what I meant for to do. Okay, so now we gotta go. We we gotta actually go talk to Harv and let him go home. Yeah, Def talked to Blaz before taking Kevin. Okay. All right, let's see if we can. Get Harp to stay put for a second. Hey, buddy. Wait, don't wait, wait. But wait. Oh. Uh oh, we can't get far back we can't get far back enough away. Uh oh. Ah, we got a good picture of him. Let's go ahead and talk to him. But I think first, real quick, I'm gonna take a quick break and I will be right back.
Hey, Falcon. Welcome in. Yeah, no, I took uh, yesterday off. Yeah, thank you so much for coming in lurking. All right, so I'm back. Uh, and just one second. Yeah, hey, you... I see, glad to be here. Oh. All right, hey, yeah. Hey, you live on this island. That's so. I'm from, like, the next island over. My name's Harvey. I do meet your friend. You can call me Harv if you want. Anyone ever does that? Is the vape just part of just fun to, fun to say? Sorry, got a bit sidetracked there. I came here for a reason. Give me a minute and I'll remember why. Got it. I keep hearing about this island and how much folks dig the scene here. But I thought I'd check it out. I want to start this far out artist collective and I'm looking for ideas. So what's the deal? I'd heard that this place was deserted, like literally a deserted island. The honcho that put this place at the head of the class? Wait, this old noodle just had a casserole of an idea. You should visit my island. Just hit the airport and tell him you want to go to Harv's Island. That's the name of my pad. Groovy, right? Anyway, nice draw on with you. I want to stroll around and see what makes Wellington tick. Hey, Browning. Hello. Welcome in. Hope you are having a good day. How is... Oh, you've been playing Hyrule Warriors. How's that been? Today we're just going through and... Oh, I'm loving the update. Yeah, we're just going through checking out the update. I'm having an absolute blast. The only thing is... That I've noticed so far... Is that... Uh, they fixed the fourth level glitch. They didn't fix the... They didn't fix the ability to get up there, but once you're up there, you can't place anything. So now the space behind my museum is very empty and very bland. So we're gonna have to fix that somehow. Not entirely certain how, but we'll, we'll come up with something. But yeah, super excited about that. So now we're going to talk with Blathers and see what if Blathers has something for us. Oh, he's got a thought bubble. What's up, buddy? Ooh. Ah. Root? Oh dear, I didn't see you there, Sebastian. Pardon me, I'm afraid I was quite lost in thought just now. See, there's a match which... A who? Actually, your timing is impeccable as ever. Perhaps you could help me. See, I was thinking of ways to draw... more folks to our museum when I hit upon the idea of adding a cafe. I tried to contact Rooster, an old friend of mine who also happens to be an experienced cafe manager. Unfortunately, it seems he's closed up shop and nobody appears to know where he's gone. However, in my search, I also caught wind of a newly unearthed group of gyroids. Rooster goes positively cuckoo over gyroids, you see, and in much the same way as I do around fossils. I'd wager my very wings that Brewster has heard about those gyroids as well. Actually, you can see where this is going. I'd like you to take up the search for Brewster. That is a photograph of Brewster. Did you find him? Tell him I'd like him to come to Woolington. If it helps, the gyroids I mentioned earlier were all found on the islands near where Captain leads his tours. I'm sorry to burden you with this, but I hope you know you have my every confidence and my utmost gratitude. Good luck, Sebastian. All right. Well, it looks like we're going on a search for Brewster. I just finished the second DLC for Age of Calamity. Nice. How was it? I don't have any of the DLC for it. Um, I, in fact, I haven't even played uh, the main game itself yet. Uh, but it's something I'm very much looking forward to.
Oh, one second. I need to mute my mic for a quick second. I have to try and try and move my my microphone arm, and the knob has seized up. Well, that's all good. I'll have to work on that later. The second was much better than the first. They added new story missions. Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, so look. Up to, up eight new new villagers and eight new returning villagers from games previous that didn't make it. Oh, cool. Awesome. Exciting times for sure. All right, let's see. It's nice that they brought some of them back, definitely, because I know um, some of them have been missed. All right, so on that note, let's go fly to Harps Island. No spoilers since you are going to play it. Yeah, oh yeah, no worries, thank you. I appreciate that. Someone did spoil the main ending to the main the main, uh, the main game without the DLC that someone did spoil it, and it was it was actually really sad to me that they spoiled it because it was on a Nintendo article about a completely different game, and someone's just like, you know what? They were they were upset by something that a game company had done, and they were just like, you know what? I want to spoil this for everybody else. It's like, wait, that that's not what. Oh, hey, Willow. I will definitely take those fragrant sticks. Thank you. Not sure what I'll do with them, but I will find a place. Yeah, that was kind of sad. But, uh... I guess the ending makes sense. In a way. I don't know if anybody here plans on playing it, but, uh... It, it makes sense the way that they did the ending, I guess, from a gameplay standpoint, but not so much from a story standpoint. But, you know, I just didn't get to learn about that myself. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to fly. Let's visit Harv's Island. Let's go. Look at, oh, I know. You're talking about the island Harvey lives on. Roger that, good buddy. It's a trip right now, but are you ready? Time for takeoff. Let's go. I did not like it. Uh, ooh, Ticket 90, dang. I did not like it, the main game ending, but I think they just asked to use the characters and the world to make their own story. Yeah, it makes sense. It's a... What's the best way to put it? Parallel universe. What's up? Okay, so this is this here. Hmm. Okay. Hello, Harv. Hey there, good to see you again so soon. I mean, I was on the same flight as you over here, so it's good to see you so soon again after seeing you. Wait, that was the day we talked, right? 
I didn't sleep the whole time since then? Anyway, welcome to Harv's Island. I don't remember if I mentioned it before, but I run a photo studio here. It's called Photopia, because it's like paradise for picture taking, and it's free to all, so come use it any time. Nice. So we're going to talk. We're going to go inside and look at, at the photo studio, which we've not done yet. I'm not sure how to trigger Harriet. But I guess we'll find out. I am going to kind of breeze through this because this is old, old stuff at this point with our. So you're digging the Photopia vibe? Away from home? Maybe later, man. Awesome. Okay, cool. You probably have to deal with Harvest Basic Island for a day before you can start the new stuff. Okay. There, no worries. Alright, I'm good. Can I wrap up from here? Yes, we can save an end. Okay. I think we're ready to go a day forward. Okay. Go to settings. And we'll go system, date and time. Which I actually forgot that we were already time traveling forward by a little bit. And let's go ahead and load in. I am curious to see if we can get and unlock these hairstyles. I'm super excited about that. Oh, and our house is going to be fully upgraded as well. Well, not fully upgraded, but it's going to be the new style. I am excited about that as well. Muffy! Dang, that picket fence looks good. Oh, there you go. There's the tips you're talking about. Yeah, I see that now. That's pretty cool. Gives your eyes something to do. Beautiful island ornaments is in the full effect starting today. You eat a cooked dish, your stomach will get full all, <gasps> all at once. Nice. Okay. Cool. Ooh. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. Oh, it actually depends on the dish. Huh, interesting, I did not know that. Wow, look at this though. Look how snazzy that looks. All right, let's go. I'm happy with that. 
Like your local, like your local food smoothie only fills two spots, same as eating the two foods you used. Ah, that makes sense. It's kind of like based on what you put in is what you're going to get back out. Oh, Sahara, hello. I will talk to you in just a little bit. But first, we've got some things afoot. All right. First things first, we're going to drop this down. We're going to learn this. Because I know exactly where this is going to be good to use that. Um, it's a ladder and five wood. Okay. Not bad. We're going to plop this down. Interact with it. Put some stuff away. I just love that so dang much. So stinking much. That is amazing. Plop that down, put stuff away, wherever we want. All right, let's go back to Harv's Island and see what happens when we go there. Because I am very curious to see if Harriet will be there or not. Okay, I want to fly. Okay. Hey, there we go. Hold on. Harvey is a wall. I like him to ban his post. Too much of anything, really. Except there's a new path over there. And based recon's not my area, so it looks like it's up to you. Exciting. Let's go. Oh, look at this! Did you get the little note I sent you? You must have since you're here. Actually, I did not. So excited to share this with you. This, this right here is going to be the heart of our new collective. I've really put my soul into this. Ah, uh, but I've had plenty of help from all kinds of folks along the way. We go way back. You can call her Hattie for short if you want. So they cannot call me that, Harv. Only you can call me that. Aww. Sorry, Sugar. I'm Harriet. It's nice to finally meet you. I've heard all about you from Harv here. Well, uh, there you have it. Where was I? Oh, right. My dream collective. Well, this is why I envision as the heart of the movement. A central plaza filled with co-ops. Now, here's the business part, where it gets kind of ugly. I hate even talking about bells, you know. But a co-op can't build itself without a little cooperation, so I think the best idea is to have a little fundraiser. Every time we raise enough capital for a co-op, we get a new one going. Well, did I just say capital? Well, I suppose that's my sales pitch. Sorry, I never was cut out for sales. But I'd be mighty grateful if you were interested in helping us realize this dream. Even if it's only a little bit at a time, every little bit helps. But leave it to me. Oh, that's great. Out of this world. I knew I could count on you to help me, Sebastian. I actually got another old pal to volunteer as well. You know my buddy Lloyd, don't you? He was so kind as to reach out to some of his pals, also named Lloyd, and they'll all be volunteering. So when you're ready, just go ahead and talk to any old Lloyd about which co-op he's collecting for. 
Go free to explore the area, meditate, or snack on some vegan pumpkin gnocchi if the mood strikes. Thanks again for helping us, and I'll see you around. Well, that's stinking cute. I love that. I love the music, too. My advice is to find Leaf first. That's who we will get crops from. Okay, awesome. Alright. Oops. Hello, Harry. Harp is working so hard to get the shops here. It's so, so great to see him more energetic than before. Well, that's cute. I love this. I love this so much. Alright. Hello, good friend. Accepting donations to fund a mysteriously accurate fortune teller. Oh, well, that's affordable, at least. Maybe another time. Can I only fund one at a time? Merchant offering rugs and mysterious wallpapers. This is going to be for Sahara. An old timer will give you access to your home storage. Nice. Okay, one a day. Okay, that makes sense. Talented husband and wife furniture refurbishing team. I'm excited about this one. Because this way, I think with this, even if we don't have the complete set of... Like, if you have a complete set of furniture, but they're not matching colors... We'll be able to make the matching colors. A botany expert with the greenest of thumbs. Awesome, we can do that. Sure, I will help. As much as possible. Donate! Oh, heck, okay. Oh, funny, the weeds are here, but they're permanent. You can't pick up the weeds. Interesting. All right. Awesome! I mean, we could go ahead and unlock them all today. But you know, I think we'll save some for tomorrow. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll finish doing all the unlocking stuff of tomorrow. Oh. I know it got me excited. I thought I could pick the weeds, which made me think I could place furniture. Aww. Yeah, seriously, you see the weeds, and the first thing you think is, oh, I gotta pick these up. It's kind of interesting that they're there placed as a permanent decoration. Hopefully they won't spread. Could you imagine, like, having your island and the weeds just spread, but you weren't allowed to pick them up? All right, awesome. Okay, so we got that. If I take it, we're not going to need all of these bells in our pockets all the time, but... You know what? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. I forgot. We have a mail. We've got some we've got some furniture we can plop down. Tidy up a little bit. All right, there we go. Right, I know Macha Lisa sent us some stuff. 
what else she sent us. I now I have now seen seven of the sixteen new villagers. Dang. But no Marlo. Next time let's take it one hundred. Dang. Marlo, where are you? Alright, so I'm curious. Let's see. So the pergola. The gazebo. Storage shed. And the ABD, which I'm super excited about. Windmill. Mini cactus set from Machalisa. The Kiro 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 P bridge. That food bowl. And the fan palm. Aw. Much thanks to Machalisa for all those wonderful things. Alright, let's see. I'm curious to see what this would look like when I plop this down. This would actually be perfect right here. Um, let's see if I plop this down. Nope, that's not what actually what I had in mind. What I did have in mind, I think, was this. Look at that. Look at that. Can you play something in here? <laughs> Look at her. She's like, she's looking at it. What's up, Nightshade? Where are you headed? They ain't over yet, Nightshade, no matter what the sun says. <laughs> you are right. Oh, we can actually walk through it. I take that. Yeah, that's gonna look really good. Yeah, I do. I love I love the gazebos as well. Um, we're gonna we're gonna plop it back down and just leave it there for now. And then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with this later. But I think this is gonna look good here. Storage shed. The ABD can go over here by resident services. And so we're gonna put our ABD right here. So we're gonna deposit the full amount. And then we're gonna withdraw. Let's do six, three, five, eight, two. I'm probably going to find a place for one in my park when I make it. Okay, awesome. I can't wait to see that. It's going to look so good. Alright, and then we have that. And now we can also place down our storage shed here real quick. Actually, you know what? No. We've got this windmill. I want to put it down somewhere. And I think I might just know the place. Hey, Muffy. We scooch right by you. Let's head down here. I don't think it'll fit here, but let's see. Nope, no room there. Okay, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a big old item, so can it fit here. Oh, it is a big old item. It's a three by two. That would look good. Probably up here, maybe. Go ahead and try that. There we go. Yeah, I can dig that. Probably customizable as well, so we'll see. Storage shed's gonna go there. Brewster's photo, we need to hang on to that. Plop down this fan palm here real quick. And from here, rest can go into storage.
I love being able to do that so much. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go find Captain. See, where is our dock? Our dock is all the way on the other side of the island, so we we'll have to work our way around. And we'll see if he's here. Hey, bud, let's go. Now, what have we here? Yours be a face I've not seen before. My name's Captain. What's yours? Sebastian, is it? Yeah, that'd be a nice fancy name, that. But I came here to ferry folks on tours to various wee islands in exchange for, for miles. I'd even take you where there'd be rare treasures. We tours go to places you can only reach with me boat. I can take you almost any time. Let me know when you're ready to set sail. Hmm? You ready to take a tour? Round trip fare will cost you a thousand miles. I'm ready to go. Yeah, that's a thousand miles then. That's kind of expensive. I'm glad we don't have to do this as... Um, oh, that's cool. It's got a little boat flag. Oh, what's this? The frog croaks out songs that don't make any sense. Oh, frog, so you can't hit any high notes. Aww. Stinking cute. You don't get seasick, do you? Oh, this is stinking cute. I there for Captain's cheese hanties. Oh heck, you're right. That was so cool. That was so stinking cute. I love that. I, they made the they made my uh they made goosebumps. I was not expecting that at all. Yar, we've arrived. This be your first boat tour, eh? Things you gotta be mindful of for me tours be the same things for them fancy airplane tours. A period of long-winded explanation. I'll be here waiting for you when you're needing tools or if you're wanting to set sail for home. Awesome. Oh, they've got holly bushes here. The rooster. Hello, sir. Who? You are here looking for jar roids too? That's right. I hope you find a jar roid. He's so soft spoken. We need something. I'm looking for you. You're looking for me. Mind if I ask what you're after? Lathers sent me to... I see. I hear you. Tell him that for me. Tell him that for me. Oh, and also... This is yours if you want it. It's a jarred fragment. Plant it in the ground. Give it some water and some time. It will grow up strong the next day. I would take root fast when, return, when you return them to the ground. Well then. Be seeing you. Wow, he is so soft spoken. Give Blathers my best. Interesting. Well, how about that? Oh, and there's roses here. Oh, snap. Okay. Not like I, I not really wasn't planning on using roses on my island, but. Uh, yeah, roses were not on my secondary list. Uh, they're not my secondary flower. 
Well, that's cool. I will definitely take at least a couple of roses home with me. If I can dig them up. If I can dig them up, I said. There we go. But hey, another jarred fragment. I'm really excited about the the gyroids actually because I'm I played the original Animal Crossing for a couple weeks and it was actually a lot of fun and catching the gyroids were actually pretty cool. Uh, it's a neat little touch. It's like a neat little core touch to the Animal Crossing world. And if you ever want to be wrong <laughs> and just get the sea shanties, you can smash me. Okay. I will not do that to cap him. He that was adorable and I would not miss that for the world. You'll find a gyroid fragment once a day and a cap nine. Oh cool, okay. There's something to definitely come once a day for. Because I know they said there's a bunch. I mean, didn't they? I guess there's a bunch of different types of gyroids. Not counting the one Brewster gave you, so this island you'll get two. One you'll dig up, the other one he gave. Okay, awesome. All right, so I already found the one. All right, I already know that DR recipe. All right, so I've got two fragments, which I will plant when I get back home. Let's gonna go ahead and take some more of these roses because I mean they're probably not that hard to come by now, now that we have these islands, but definitely won't hurt to take some. I think we'll head back home, and I think we'll go on one more island. I'm curious. I'm curious to see if maybe we'll find an island that's got some vines. I do remember seeing vines in the, in the direct, and I really want some of those vines if we can find them. Eh? I'm ready to go home, buddy. I'm ready. There's no returning here later. Do you have all your booty? Yes. And back we go. Be kind to me, old vessel, and mind your step as we hop aboard. Oh, you only get one a day. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Am I allowed to go? Am I? Oh, per character. Okay, that makes sense. That's interesting. Oh. Think of anything good today? <laughs> I heckin' love that. That is adorable. So am I? Am I not? So I'm not. So once I've done it, I'm not allowed to go back, am I? All oh, right. Let's see. Let's see. What does he say? Alas. Ah. Oh, yeah. You're right. There be a limit on me boat tours. You get one per day. Come back around another time, Macy. All right. That's awesome. That's good to know. Dang. Okay. Very much good to know. One trip a day, one time. Okay, got it. I guess that makes sense. We still have the airplane for... If we have a lot of places we gotta go. Alright, let's see here. Let's go ahead and plant some... Roses. We're gonna plant some roses here.
put some stuff away. I'm gonna keep hanging on to this for now. I don't think I need it, but just for now. Wait. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can we put DIYs in storage now? Hold up a second. Where did that go? <gasps> we can put we can put DIYs in our storage now. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's stupendous. That's amazing. I love that. Okay, let's go. Oh, I gotta go clean up. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you. They finally realized that we like to hoard things and we don't like throwing away DIY cards that someone else might need and we don't like them laying all across our island in our house. Oh, that's amazing. Still no live plants or turnips spoiled. Or not. Okay, that makes sense. That does make sense, but still. Put that in storage. Let's go. Yeah, no term spoiled or not. Okay, that makes sense. But that means, though, that with this being said, zoop. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, you can rotate them around. Yeet. There we go. I like the round windows you get with this house. Actually, that is the wallpaper, which that wallpaper actually fits really well now that I think about it. Um, the, that, that comes with this wallpaper. This is the modern tea room wallpaper. And you're right, it fits perfectly, actually. This is, yeah, the modern tea room. And it's got that, it's got the Japanese paper window. Which you're right, it's really cool. I don't think you can, yeah, you can't interact with it at all, but. I've always liked the, the tea room wallpapers. They're very clean and very elegant. All right, so now that we have that, um, let's go run outside here real quick. Oh, nice. It's basically an accent wall. Yeah. So I'm going to plant both these gyroids up here and see what happens tomorrow. Plant them right in front of Muffy's house. Bury that in the hole. Bury that in the hole. And they did say to water them, so... Let's go ahead and give them a sprinkle of water. Oh, that's cool. It lets out... Oh, it's steaming. Nice. That's, that's how you know they're growing. All right, so now all we got to do... Let's go ahead over to Blathers and see what's new there. Ah, ah, ah. But first, oh, that's right. I keep thinking I have to run back to my house to get materials. I don't have to do that anymore. Brilliant. Uh, hang on. Because we're going to go to my dig site and we're going to try something. As you can see right over here, where I've got a fake ladder. Not doing us any good over here. What if, but what if this was a real ladder? Let's see, I don't have my materials that I need. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down our shed. Put something away. 
away first. We're going to put away our watering can. Don't need that. Now we're going to get out some materials. So we need five wood. I need at least ten wood, I think. And we're going to need a workbench. We need a DIY workbench, which I think there should be one in my storage somewhere. At least have one here somewhere. Worst case, I can run and make one, but I think I have a wooden workbench in here somewhere. It's gonna be down near the bottom if it's alphabetical. Do I not have a workbench? Oh, I passed two of them. Oh, shoot. Did I really? Okay, my eyes are... Ah, here we go. There we go. Simple. There we go. That's why. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Totally messed those. Right, so now we can place that. Let's craft. Oh, you can even customize them. Okay. I made a wooden ladder step-up kit. Okay, keep crafting. Make two of them. Means I won't have a ladder to actually get out of here, but should be fine for the moment. Yeah, we need a hardwood and softwood and regular wood for these. Make another ladder, but um Let's go ahead and get out our inventory here real quick. Actually, that's not what I meant to do. Um, let's go ahead and see. I have okay first of all we need our customization kits I don't have another ladder so we do need to make one for us to carry See what they're going to make these ladders up. I'm going to head off and eat and go to work. Have a wonderful trip. Oh, no worries. Hey, thank you so much, Brian. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I hope you have a great meal and a great rest of your day. All right, so there's not a lot of options for the ladders. I think I'll keep them the way that they are. Yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. Yeah, no worries. All right, so let's put something away. We're gonna put away the hardwood, the DIY bench, don't need that anymore, and these two kits, and we'll be good. Oh, I see to pick it up. So we're gonna put a ladder, I think, right here for now. Set next to Cliff. Oh, that's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Okay, perfect. I can't climb up there yet because that's in the way. But fix that. Oh, I love that so much. Okay, so now we have an actual way to get that without actually needing our ladder. 
Look at that. Amazing. Okay, I love it. But for the moment, we need to place this down. The room, okay. I mean, there's no room. What? Hmm. Not that big of an item, is it? It's not like a two unit wide, it's only one unit wide. Oh, there we go, okay. Now it feeds. And now we can climb up here. Yeah, let's go. I'm silly excited about that. And next thing we can do is actually... Uh, we're going to pull this up, pull this up. And we're going to see, can we place one here? Yes! Yes, we can. Okay, I love that. Put the barrel back. Now, question is, can we still climb? No, we cannot. The back one. Let's go. And then we just need to place this uh, shovel here. If it will let us. Oh. Don't think it will. Nope. Oh. So we need to dig up this here. No. All right, that's it. I keep doing that. All right. There we go. And now we can climb up here. Awesome. Hello, Vesta. All right, well, I think that's, uh, is that everything we can do? Oh, I guess we can go check in on Blathers. I don't know that he's moved in yet, but we can tell Blathers that Rooster said hello. Oh, hello, Vesta. Good to see you, Buffo. Good days like today are just made for painting landscapes. Yes, they are. Are you still searching for that certain coffee curating Lembade, which by which I mean a Brewster? They cornered. And allow me to add food. Why that's simply wonderful news. Do tell, what did he have to say? He said, I hear you. Well, that's simply marvelous news. What a relief. A rooster is a punctual and precise fellow, so I expect he'll make his way here forthwith. Hey, Walt. I suppose that means... Dear, I must make arrangements for his arrival straight away. That end, I'm afraid I'll need to close the visitor to all... Museum to all visitors tomorrow for construction. If everything goes as planned, we shall reopen the day after next with cafe service in place. It is my sincere hope that you will join us for a cup of joe on that date. Nice! Let's go! So stinking excited. So much fun stuff. Alright, let's see. What else is new? I know we can now wear patterns. We 
can use these, which is a variety. Oh, I haven't talked to the uh, I haven't talked to Sable enough yet to unlock all these patterns. Not quite what I had in mind. Alright, but let's go ahead and time travel to tomorrow and we're gonna go back to Harv's Island. Oh, that's right. Super Mario uh, 30th Anniversary was updated to work with the new N64 controllers, which I think is really neat. I forgot to change the time. I'm a dork. Right, let's go. Okay. The museum is adding a cafe, so the museum will be closed. My sincerest apologies to the museum's esteemed patrons. I hope everyone will visit the completed cafe tomorrow. Nice. That is asked me to pass on that message to everyone. I hope I captured his restrained excitement. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Awesome. All right, let's see. I guess we can dig these up now. Uh, hey! Look, I dug up a pedaloid. Nice. Nice to meet you, gyroid. You've discovered your first gyroid. Hang on. 
Hey, welcome back. How's the new content? It's amazing, actually. I'm um, having lots of fun. Um, we went and found Brewster. I was going to unlock the... Say what? We found Brewster. He's going to open up a cafe soon. We got our first gyroids. Look at these guys. Took some cold meds and knocked me out. Oh, no worries, no worries. I hope you feel better. Look at these adorable little things. Heck. All right, well, we've got a couple gyroids now that we can use for decoration. With that mushroom. Yeah, no, we're having a, I'm having a blast. Um, just walking around and finding all the new things. We've been to Harv's Island and have started unlocking the next shop, which reminds me, I need to go get some bells. Because we do have the automatic bell dispensers outside now. Get to try that. Oh, Harv wrote us. Oh. Interesting. Okay, he's got another uh, note for us. Okay. So we're going to withdraw 100,000. Or, you know what? Let's make that 200,000 just in case. Never know how much money you might need when you go to someone else's island. Did I hear something with a thought bubble? Oh shoot, it's Vesta. Vesta's actually the one that I want to leave. Okay. Oh, oh goodness. Frida, not Vesta. Why did I say Vesta? Frida. I love here, but I also want to check out other islands. I'm thinking of moving. Thoughts? Oh, Frida, I don't want you to go. You're so dang cute, but you're the one that needs to leave, so that way I can go hunting for Dobie. It's okay, I get it. You can always come back again sometime. Well, it's been a blast living on Wellington. No regrets. Rockin' memories, oh you? I loved hanging out with you. Keep the others in line, alright? Heck. Okay. Frida. Oh, I love you. I can always invite her back to my island again sometime in the future. I did figure at some point um, that some of the sheep will want to leave, some of the sheep maybe they'll want to leave and then come back, and I can, you know, I can kind of like let them come and go once I have everybody's reactions. But that's exciting, so that means not tomorrow, but the day after, so Saturday, we'll be going on a villager hunt. Or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's visit Harv's Island. Take off. Let's down like reading novels in a change jar. We are parked and proud. We have a quack to wing back. Huh. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a Bank of Nook ABD. There's an ABD dispenser right here already. Brilliant. I love that. Hey. Hello, Harry. 
Hey there, let me introduce you to an old pal of mine. This is Leaf. Now he's got the greenest thumbs you'll ever see. He's gonna be opening up a garden shop here. Oh, how have you know? We know each other. How are you, Sebastian? I'll be here with my usual selection of happy little plants and seeds on days when I'm not on Wellington. That yeah, peachy? I think we'd all be as happy as Leaf's little plants if we lived a little greener, don't you think? I hope you find everything you need to make your island as vibrant and full of life as possible. But take your time, see what he's got to offer, and enjoy yourself. Be you around. Awesome! Alright, Leaf, what you got? Let's talk more types of starts, plus I started a traveling weeding service. Ooh! Let's talk about weeding service, actually. He's gonna do a weeding service. Oh, every weed he pulls goes into the recycle box. Yes. Okay, but there's not enough weeds on my island yet. Oh, that's gonna be so dang handy. Because I'm gonna use weeds to fill up my island so that way I can make my rock garden. And that means once we've done that. I can pay him a thousand, a hundred thousand bells, and poof, it'll all be gone. I think produce starts. Nice! Alright, well, we can start off with some sugar cane. Oh, that's wheat. Start off with some a a wheat and sugar cane. We'll take 10 of each. Taking 118 makes it so I've seen half the villagers being cephalobot. Nice! Well, I wish you'd seen Marlo. What do you think of cephalobot? He looks really cool to me um, in the pictures, and he is probably the only octopus I would actually consider having like on my other island. Um, I like I like all the other octop octopi, but um, Cephalobot looks really cool. What do you think of him? I've never been a fan of the Robo Villagers. Oh, really? I've not been a huge fan of them, but I have a passing interest in them. Like, I think I need to have them on my own for a while. Or, like, maybe build... Now that there's three of them, maybe build up, like, a little... Like, a little area where they could just, like, live close together. All right, so this one I think was Sahara. No, this is the change up one. Cause I think that I think that makes us have three robot villagers now. Oh, this is for red. Well, I don't particularly need red at the moment. Let's see, who are you? This is for kicks. Okay. I think what I'll do is I think I'll do Tortimer next. If there was 10 of them, I'd make an island around them, but since there isn't, they don't have the same vibe as the others on my island. Yes, I totally agree. In fact, they don't really even have a vibe. On, they wouldn't really match any area of my other islands. But if you... I've seen some people create, like, like a dystopian you know, industrial island. They would look good on something like that. All right, so this is for this one, but we need the one for Mortimer, I think is what we'll do next. That way we can have access to our inventory relatively easily. I'm sure I will help. I didn't mean to press that. Ticket 119 is another new villager faith. Dang! I'm surprised that you're getting so many of their new ones. I wonder if they've tweaked the algorithm at least for a while. 
I mean, people seem to get more of the newer ones. Right, so Torma will be here tomorrow. And since and since Frida asked to leave, I'm not gonna time travel anymore today. So that way, we, that way on Saturday we will be able to uh, move out proper, or not move out proper. We'll be able to go villager hunting for Doby. So Harriet is going to give me a haircut. Okay, let's get started. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh no. All right, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. Not quite. There we go. I wonder if, though, if I still get to learn that one. A bit of hair. Yeah. Each new style is sure to grow on you eventually. Yes, this is true. It will... It will always uh, grow on me eventually. Got me a new hairstyle. You can choose it whenever I visit a vanity or a mirror. Awesome. All right, so I guess we only get one a day. It's fine. It's not 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 the one that you were wearing, Majestic, but uh, go with it for now. Awesome. I am super stoked about all this. Okay. Attention, fledgling. This squawker's got a transmission for you. Yes, you, Sebastian. Internet Airlines is now dabbling in item delivery and liquidation. Oh, that's right. I never quite understood that before. This always this this whole thing with Wilbur felt this whole this whole thing felt kind of useless before, but now it might make a bit more sense. So I always thought you'd be able to do it from a mystery island, but you can only do it from Harbs, and it didn't make any sense because I'm not really picking anything up from Harbs to sell. I always thought that the liquidation should have been a thing for mystery islands, and I almost wonder if it was like an over an oversight or something like that, where it had originally been intended for mystery islands, but just didn't work out that way. Here somewhere, I can smell you. Aha. There we go. Got it. All right, so with all that done, let's go check up on the museum. Although, I mean, it's just gonna be covered up. I 
let's go ahead and run over. Oh, can't go that way. I don't know where I'm going. Hey, nice big box. Go ahead and get out our pro camera. I'll have our museum back tomorrow. Curious, can you look down a ledge with this camera? Nice. Dig this so dang much. Wow, okay, I love that. All right, all right, let's go. Uh, oops. I designed and built this island from scratch. So I'm still getting myself lost. Okay. Right, I think with that, we can go to Captain. And we'll go to the next island. Uh, do we have anything we need to put away? Yes. I'm going to place that. So we'll put away the mole cricket. We're going to save that mole cricket for later. And let's go get today's um, gyroid. That's so adorable. I love that. We've arrived. All right, let's go. Oh, we've got pansies on this island. So not a lot here. Although there are some good decoration ideas here. Ticket 125, another new one. Oh, that makes 10 of 16. Dang. I feel like you gotta be heading, you gotta be getting close at this point. Because I mean, that's over half of them. I mean, that's well over half of them. Oh, hey. Uh, we've got lots of pine trees here. We can grab some of these for our nursery. So there's three. There's five. So we can eat. I think we can eat some of these. Oh, 
probably the only thing that I really wish Nintendo would have added. And they said no more free updates, so I don't think we can look forward to it. I wish they would have let us uh, press Y in our inventory to sort our inventory. Um, so much. I wish they would let us automatically sort our inventory. I don't feel like that would be that hard to implement, either. But... What can you do? Shell music box. What? What's that? It's a new item. Look at that. Oh, I do want to make that. Um, that's right. I forgot. Uh, music boxes are a thing now. So we finally, because I know that they've always had the music box version of songs. And, um, yeah. All right, so I think that's good. I'm not a huge fan of the pansies. Like, I like fl pansies, but I don't know of any place where these would actually look good on my island. So I'm probably going to skip the pansies for now. And we'll head on home. All right, thanks, Captain. All right, let's see. You know what? I think we're going to head home, and we're going to try making that music box. And then we're going to plant these crops. And outside of that, I think that's about all that I can really do for the day. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to craft. And we're going to see what this requires. A giant clam and iron nuggets. Got it. So let's go ahead and pull from our inventory.
All done for now. And then put in storage. We have another gyroid fragment that we can plant. All right, let's go see what this music box sounds like. We're gonna plop that down and give it a whirl. Let's see, we're still cupcakes. Oh, there's Captain Song. Green Song 2001. Whoa. That just took it up a notch. So soft. Barely hear it. Let's see, where's my phonograph? Should be here somewhere. I'm wondering how they sound together. be here. A record player. There it is. All right, there we go. Ah, they don't sync up. That would be cool if they, if they synced up and you could have the music box and the radio on at the same time playing the same song. Let's, let's exit the room and enter. See if they sync up or not. Nope, they do not. No matter. All right, so we're gonna head back outside. We've got a few more things to do. First thing being, we're going to... Plop down our wood storage shed. some stuff away real quick. Actually, no, we're not. We need our watering cans, what we need. There we go, we'll have a gyroid tomorrow. I think the next step is going to be to plant some, plant some food. 
So we're just going to start off with a nice little area. We're just going to get started just planting some stuff. So let's see what happens. We're going to stand right here and plant nine. All right, there's some crops there. go spread out loud Ooh. we got some nook moths for planting 20 different crops back for a moment how's the update sir it is going really good we've got crops growing we've got some wheat got some sugar cane uh, we've been to Captain's Island. We've got these little tribroid things. There's just so much that it's mind-boggling. We've got little ladders we can place here and there. The only thing that's made me sad about this update is that it completely broke my fourth wall decorations. Not fourth wall. I broke the fourth wall! Uh, no, it broke my fourth level decorations. And so now my whole area behind my statue, not my statue, my museum, is quite, uh, barren, if you will. And, uh, at least they were kind enough to put everything into recycling, so I was able to get all the stuff that was up there. I was able to collect it all. Except for the trees. But... The problem is I can climb up there, but they no longer allow you to decorate up there, so I'm gonna have to redo this area. But outside of that, it's been phenomenal. Um, museum is under construction. The cafe. Yeah, lots of fun stuff. I'm um, these fences. Huge. We've got white picket fences now. Um, as opposed to brown ones, and this just completes the look. Look at that, look at that. And we have that windmill in the background now, the new windmill. That's an orchard. It's a beautiful orchard. I'm, I'm so happy with all of this. But yeah, um... Yeah, how's your day going though? How's, uh, hopefully has work calmed down any, or... Still super busy? here real quick. Is the music too loud? Oh. And Frida has asked to leave. Um, and she was the last one that I needed to leave. And so... There we go. I'm gonna miss her. I'm gonna miss her a bunch. She's super, she's super cute, but I need Dobie. I want Dobie to move in, so we're gonna go on a build your hunt on Saturday for Dobie. Well, it's done. I'm off tomorrow. Nice! Awesome! The weekend begins, my good sir. Exciting! As well, eh, not too loud. Okay, good, good, good. It's hard to tell. My volume... In my ears, it's a bit loud today. So about my home. I would like to expand my storage. Oof. Uh, not now, I don't have enough money. It is. Taking my dad to see the Eternals, and then my son's birthday Saturday. Awesome! We have a busy weekend. Nice! Um, Eternals looks like it's gonna be good. I hope it is. I hope it is. That's gonna be so much freaking fun. 
And birthday party. Man, I hope you have a great weekend. Hope you get some time in there to relax a little bit. Alright, so we're we'll withdraw. Let's say six, uh, 600,000. Ticket 134 Roswell for the first time. Dang! Lots of repeats today, lots of repeats. We'll see, hopefully Sunday. How about you? Wait, wait, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Um, my puppy, uh, my, no, my puppy, my dog, uh, started yelping. I think she got, she got her nails stuck in her fur, and she was scratching her ear. Um, do I have any plans this week? Uh, actually, next week. I mean to keep me post on Discord. I need to post on Discord next week. I'll be taking a vacation. Actually, I'm gonna be taking next week off. Yeah, poor dog. Yeah. Um. She's done that twice now. I think she's got a mat right behind her ear that I need to get in and clip. Uh, cause she tends to get her, her nails stuck on it. And then she gets, it's most, she's not really hurting herself, I don't think. But she tends to panic. She's like, oh no, my foot's stuck, what do I do? It's either that or she might've gotten in the kitty cat's face a little bit. They love each other, but sometimes, uh, sometimes, sometimes the puppy can get a little bit rambunctious. Anyway, um, no, actually, so this next coming up week, I'm going to be taking a, I'll be taking the week off from streaming and I'm going to be doing basically fall cleaning. I'm going to detail the cars, clean the house, a lot of stuff like that. But outside of that, not really. Not really. All right, so we gotta pay a lot of bells up front. Yes, let's do it. It always feels good to get stuff like that done. Yes. And it's finally cool enough weather here that I think I'm, I'll be able to do it. Do it. And uh, get the, yeah, like I said, get the house clean. I wanna get the floor scrubbed. That's that kind of stuff, which I enjoy doing, actually, ironically enough. But we shall see. All right, so we've got some trees here to plant. We're going to have a, a bigger storage tomorrow. Nope, can't plant these for some reason. Can't, uh, can't plant that. All right. Do, 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 do. Can't plant this. Rio, that makes 11 out of 16. Dang! At this rate, and I don't want to jinx you, but it's almost at this rate. It almost seems like um, Marlo's going to be the last one you find. Back to dinner prep. Okay. All right, no worries. Hey, thank you for lurking, Brian. Enjoy your dinner, and I will catch you again soon. Mm -hmm. 
All right, with all that said, let's see, what else can we do? Anything else new? Anything else I'm forgetting? I think there's a lot of little things that we're going to see over time. We're going to pull this up and bring it inside. Now we could go check, uh, check the Nook Twin shop as well. And see uh, what they have for sale. They might have some new furniture in there for sale. There's no room to put anything here. Strange. There we go. So a lot of this we're not going to have room for. Although, we finally, finally have a use for sea bass. Sea bass is finally worth something because now you can cook grilled sea bass with herbs and all it takes is a sea bass and five clumps of weeds. So that is something I'm excited about. Every sea bass I catch, I am going to cook it. Try and teach it a lesson. All right, let's see. What is the next thing I need to do? Ah, I need to water those crops that I got. And check out the Nook Twin shop. Okay, so. We planted the crops here. Let's go ahead and get out our watering can. Whoa, okay, we just watered all those at once. Let's go. Then we're going to go ahead and run over to... Oh, yeah. Right, it's up here now. There we go. All right, I'm going to miss Frida, but she will be in boxes tomorrow and moving out on the next day. Hey, Vesta! Out shopping, Bafu. Let's chat. I, was a little, I thought it'd be fun to live inside a store like this. I wonder if I might not be spending too much time in here already, right? Oh, look! It's an enamel lamp. We can hang this from the ceiling. It's one of the new, it's a new furniture item. Okay. This looks like this is new as well. Antique cash register. I will go ahead and buy that actually. You know what? That looks really, that looks really dope. I like that. And some money on bells. Uh, this is new as well. A water bird. Oh, 
much. Sure, I'll buy it. I have no use for that. I'll probably turn around and sell it, but you know what? Let's go ahead and buy it. Anything else here that we need? Anything else new? Anything interesting? Does not look like it. I missed it. What hanging light did you get? I got the... It's an enamel one. Let me, let me go hang it up in my house and I will show you. It looks kind of like it would go really well in a diner. It's, it's bright red. I probably won't use it in my house, but I just bought it to have it. Um, and let me go show you what it looks like. Now I'm curious, what happens if I try hanging something while I'm standing here holding it? Um, let's see. If I take it and then I hold it, what will happen? Let's see, so enamel lamp, hang from ceiling, there we go. Oop, yeah, so it goes right above you. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. And it actually provides, oh, you can reach up and turn them off. Nice. If I close all these blinds. Oh, look at that. That is cool. It's going to create like a spotlight. But then. There we go. I like that. Can you order one and send me one? I'm hoping I can customize it to black and add it to my kitchen. Yes. I do believe I can do that. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I really do. I, I really do like it. But we're going to put that in storage for now. And all right. Let's get up our phone and see if I can send one to you. Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Let's see. We're going to say search for... What did I say it was? Enamel. Like I said, it would look good in a diner or... Yeah, a good kitchen. It's a good kitchen light, for sure. Okay. And there's a gift. Am I able to send this to you? I am not because we're not best... Oh, no, here we go. Okay. All right, my good sir, it is on its way to you. Let me know if you can customize it. So I'm guessing you're going to go to... I guess if you go to... Um, the couple, I don't know their names yet. They'll be able to customize it for you, I'm assuming? I hope so. I hope that's the case. Yeah, definitely let me know if that's an option, if, if it works, if it works for you. So one thing I am going to do though, is we're going to put down the flooring in here that I want. Um, we're going to go ahead and decorate. There we go. Go to wallpaper. I won't be able to custom it right away. I don't have VC yet. Okay, all right, no worries. Let me know if it works though. That would be cool. I mean, I'm sure it'll work, but hopefully it has the color that you're that you're looking for. All right, let's see which wall I would like to make this blue, uh, different accent. Let's see what if we make it green. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to keep it red. There we go. What if we made it an accent? No, hang on. Oh, 
Or what if, what if we made this an ingredient and this one the accent? This kind of clashes is the only thing. Now that might actually work. I actually like that. That actually looks pretty good. Oh, I'm happy with that. I'll probably find him next since I find a leaf and kicks. Okay, cool. Yeah, I find a Tortimer next, so that way whenever Reese gets there uh, and whenever they're there, I will be able to um, get stuff in and out of my inventory with Tortimer and then be able to customize it. Because I feel like taking a... I mean, I could take a whole pocket at once, customize it that way, but I think having the inventory right there would help. I'm wondering then if they'll be able to customize anything um, and I'm wondering if then you'd be able to use bells instead of, instead of having to buy customization kits. Because having to buy customiz customization kits, I mean, it's not that bad, but it gets a little tedious. You know, having to buy five at a time and everything takes almost, at, you know, like on average, everything takes about five. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Now, if we go upstairs... I'm curious, though, once you've used a wallpaper, it uses it up, right? So, like, we can't use it again up here. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. I don't think it will let us do this again. Nope, it will not, so... Uh, we'll have green walls up here, and I think... What other carpets do we have? That looks like the lobby flooring. Not quite. That looks really good. Not for a bedroom. I may use that somewhere else, though. That's too bright. I think we'll just go ahead and use that same flooring. I find them next since okay it is bell based it's shown direct nice okay so hopefully they'll allow us to customize the things that we already can customize but in, for bells instead of you know what i'm saying if that makes any sense i could have very well see him say well we'll customize furniture that you've bought but we won't customize your diy things for you i could i could see them potentially doing that i guess we'll find out tomorrow Right, now I can take all of these and put them in storage, which I'm still so ecstatic about. If we're down here, I'm going to go with a completely different theme. That's not what I'm looking for. That's not what I'm looking for. I don't know that I even have the one that I want yet. Very Argyle Fluent. That might actually work. I don't think slate will work. This might work. Terracotta is too bright. Um, I think I know which flooring I would like for in here, but I don't have it yet. It's Sahara flooring. It's the one that's like basically a giant compass. I don't have that one, unfortunately. For up here... I don't know that I have the wallpaper I want yet. We're going to use this as an accent wall. And I need the curtain wall for everywhere else. But I don't, that's also Sahara wallpaper, which I don't have, although this might look good. Yeah, I like that. So I need to craft that wallpaper that I need. And I don't know if I have it or not. I mean, I do have it. I don't know if I have the materials for it or not. So, but let's go find out.
Okay. Um, we're gonna be looking for our wallpapers, and we're looking Good. for the underwater Yo, I one. I don't know what's up with it. I wish I could fix it. Oh, whoa, 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 I don't know what's whoa. wrong with it. My bad. That was my browser. Got caught up there for a second. Ooh, iceberg wallpaper looks pretty cool. I don't remember the ski slope one. That's cozy as heck. I love that. I wish this one would work depending on the season. I wish this one was season dependent. I like the, the brick wall, but I'm not an entirely huge fan of it always being falling snow. Ah, this is it. Underwater wall. We need coral and summer shells, which I believe I have enough of both. So for that... Let's craft. I'm in an underwater wall. Armor right, done. I don't think any of these are customizable, are they? That would be interesting, but I really don't think that they are. That in storage, but that in storage, and... There we go. And this is the one I'm looking for. Set as accent wall. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Is it 3D? Is it parallax? I don't think it's parallax. The fish are in front. Are they in front? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell if the fish are parallax or not. They look like they are when you go this way, but I don't know if they are. Anyway. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for, because I want to have an aquarium down here. I'm sorry if I changed the... Some of luck, goodness, I hope he gets along with Anka. I don't want to have to exile him after all this, right? Ooh. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Right, that's perfect. Yeah, this is going to fit the theme that I had going. This is this is going to fit what I want very nicely. Um, I need a chair. Do I have a chair that I can put in here? I need like a sofa chair, but so far the only thing I have is this. Not quite what I had in mind, but it'll work for now. There we go. Yeah, no, I really hope that you actually do find Marlo soon. And I hope I hope he does get along with Anka. I don't see why he wouldn't. Oh, that's right. Our gyroid is still growing. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really need to do today. Um, I could plant a tree here real quick. We could do that. Let's see if it'll let us. We just need one of our fully grown cedar trees. And it won't let us plant it right off, but we can get our construction kit and start construction. And we're going to make this work. Okay.
Alright, now let's try planting. What do you mean there's no room to plant it right there? There's room to plant it there. Hang on. Oh, it's too close to the bridge. Oh well. Say lovey. Now, that being said, we could actually plant it right here. But that's going to take a little bit of terraforming, which is fine, which is fine. We can do that. Go ahead and scoop this up. And yeah, we can do this. I'm going to break some things, but we can be able to smush them up and fix them. Hey, Falcon, thank you for the hydrate. Appreciate that. I'm actually out of water at the moment. Ah, there was one little sip left. All right, now let me get a stretch and posture check. Set up. Okay, and then... Go ahead and plant our tree here. And then we're going to plant this. There we go. Actually, we need our waterscaping permit right here. Not what I wanted to do. Not also not what I wanted to do. Officially through half my first set of 300 tickets. Dang. Man, I hope you find Marlo soon. All right, there we go. Now nah, we've got a tree there. That's where I wanted that tree to go. I mean, it's not quite where I wanted to go, but it actually works there better anyway. Awesome. Yeah, look how cool this house is. I love this house design. It's very simple, very nice. I might try the other one at some point, but I'm happy with this. All right, so I think for the moment. Here, can I do it like this? If, uh, let's go ahead and use the camera. Use the tripod. All right, let's back it up, back it up. Okay, tripod camera. Whoa, that rotates it. And can we use one of our new ones? I need to work on my favorites of these. Behold. There we go. How about that? How about that? All right. So I think that's what I'm going to call it for the day. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Saw a lot of new things. We've got new reactions. We've got new... New reactions. New... Um, all kinds of new stuff. New NPCs to talk to. Went on a captain tour. We've got, we've got uh, Brewster moving in tomorrow. We've got uh, Frida has asked to leave, so we'll be able to go on a villager hunt for Dobie soon. Yeah, uh, a lot of fun stuff, and a lot to look forward to. And then tomorrow is going to be the big update for the Happy Home Paradise, and so we'll get to start working on decorating villagers uh homes for them so i want to thank uh, trickster lulu for the resub today or five month resub and yeah a good one i'll be going through another 150 tickets no worries uh good luck um uh, make sure when you find marlo make sure you post on discord and let us know and, and like i said let me know too when you go to customize that uh when you go to customize that ceiling light i'm excited Hopefully not, but I'm prepared to. Yes. Yeah, definitely hopefully not. You've met just about everybody else new. Hopefully you can definitely find Marlo a lot sooner than that. 
All right. So I think that's where, like I said, that's where we're going to end it for today. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and I'll go ahead and raid uh, Blaine. He is also doing, he's also checking out the update. He's super cool. And make sure I type in his name correctly this time. All right. So I will see you over on Blaine's channel and I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye everybody.